to be honest, I do not need another bag. I have like over 20 bags. But yeah, there's there's plenty of bags that I see on my phone or in real life on other people that I definitely get influenced to buy. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. <laughs> if you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much, guys. Yesterday, I made a video about luxury I have purchased in the past that I was influenced to buy from influencers on YouTube or Instagram posts and some of these items that I had purchased in the past didn't end up working out for me and I think I got a little bit sucked into buying them because I was kind of brainwashed too from you know just seeing it on other people I, I bought them shopped or whatever and I think social media is a pretty effective way of selling bags it's a good marketing tool I think we all scroll on our Instagram and look at YouTube when we're bored or having a bit of a break and sometimes we can get these ideas in our heads to buy these random fashion items that we may not have been wanting to buy if we didn't see it on social media and there are currently a few bags that have popped up on my social media that have totally tempted me and that have kind of creeped into my subconscious are kind of there as like an option for me to buy in the future. I did promise myself I'm only gonna buy Hermes bags from now on. Not because I'm a snob, guys, but because, you know, I have limited funds and I've, I've, personally feel like Hermes bags make me the most happy. I like the quality. I like the leather. I like the details on Hermes bags. So I kind of just try and, you know, if I'm going to buy a bag, I kind of put m money towards like a special Hermes bag. But there are a few bags that are distracting me at the moment, guys. And these distraction bags are in my subconscious and I wanted to get them out there, talk about them. And let me know, guys, are these bags that you've seen on your social media and what do you think of them as well? The first one I noticed on Lali's channel. She unboxed this bag a few days ago and it's the Laura Piana Le 19 uh, pouch bag. I'm not sure if that's the exact name, but it's a super cute bag, guys. Like, I've seen this on my Instagram, on personal shopper pages, and a few, like, influencers wearing these bags. It fits into the whole quiet luxury trend, which is a little bit cringe. I'm not one to want to, uh, I guess, follow like the quiet luxury trend I just think it's a little bit like although it's classic I don't know if it's completely my style that being said I do really like the minimalistic look of this bag I think it is really classic and beautiful to look at it does look a little bit like a pencil case but it's a very cute pencil case. I like how it has a strap on it as well. And I love the subtle branding on the little charms of the zipper. I love how this bag comes in different leather variations as well. So you can get it in like a plain leather, which I feel like it could be a calf skin. There's an ostrich, there's crocodile versions, and they come in an array of beautiful colors as well. Now, when I went onto the Laura Piana website, it seems like this bag must be pretty popular because in the plain version, I think all the colors are sold out so this is definitely a hyped bag and although i've never seen this bag in real life and i haven't seen anyone yeah in australia really wear it i do think it's a really pretty bag and a good alternative to like if you're trying to get a kelly pochette or a mini kelly it's one of those really nice little clutch bags that you could take out you know dress it up dress it down it, um it might be a little bit hard to open and close you know i have had the vanity pm before from louis vuitton and that was a real bugger to open and close because of the zipper um so i would have to kind of test this out in real life to see if the zipper was really annoying because sometimes these vanity style bags can be hard to open and close it's just a super cute bag i love it it's not cheap so i don't and i have no experience with laura piana um craftsmanship and you know quality I think that they're pretty up there. I mean, they're very expensive. So I'm going to assume the bags are pretty good as well. But, you know, I'm just trying not to sway too away from my Hermes addiction because I'm, yeah, I'm just sucked into that at the moment. But this Laura Piana bag, I really like it. I, yeah, I don't know. It does look a little bit like a pencil case though. So maybe it's all hype. Let me know, guys. Next bag, which I've noticed on my social media pop up on my Instagram, and it was advertised by Foray Lepage. And... 
I don't know if I'm saying that right actually and I've never purchased anything from this brand either. I know that they're known more for their like canvas bags and it's a good Ferrero Lepage is a really good alternative to Louis Vuitton if you're looking for like an everyday tote or something like that. But I noticed this really cute bag and I think it's called the Fairy Scale Bag and it features this leather marquetry on the front which I think is absolutely stunning. So this bag is the outside is made up of leather as opposed to coated canvas and I just love the details on this bag, the little gold um, like corners and I really love uh, the fish scale print well I think it's called fairy scale but to me it looks like fish scales and I love the color too like the blue with a bit of yellow just a gorgeous bag and if I saw someone wearing this in real life I think they I just think it's really unique something you don't see every day and Ferre Lepage is one of those brands that I'm curious by we actually have a store in Australia now so I'm able to see it in real life and you know I'm not gonna lie guys I'm a little bit sick of like uh, the typical brands everyone goes for. It's just, it's a nice alternative brand that, well, it's not an alternative brand, but I don't really see it as around as much. So I don't know. I, I'm, as time goes by, I tend to like want to go for things that not everyone has and like unique looking bags and that are kind of like unique to me. And I feel like this bag is really cool. And if I wore it, like, I think I would look really cool. So yeah, I really like it. It also comes in like a pink color, which usually I feel like would be more, I would be more drawn to the pink but in this case for some reason I like the blue more because I think it just pops that little bit more and I love the le leather marquetry on the front and the way that they've yeah basically if you don't know leather marquetry is when they really thinly cut leather and they have to glue it together precisely to make up this pattern so yeah I'd like that those kind of details make me feel like something is more worth it as opposed to if it was just like printed on like a coated canvas that was printed on this is actually like leather pieces that have been made up into this fish scale pattern which yeah I just love it I love the details and yeah it was advertised to me on my Instagram and I just think it's a really gorgeous bag but yeah and the price is is reasonable for this kind of thing I think anyway well in in these times all designer bags are quite overpriced but yeah I think this is like pretty good for for what you get this bag I actually saw on my friend so uh, she came back from her holiday and she was, she said that she bought this bag, she scored it overseas, it was really hard to get, and it's the Goyard, um, Goyard and, and you? A, a new mini bag and this is like a classic Goyard looking tote but in mini size. I just think this bag is so adorable. Um, now I've kind of swayed away from coated canvas just before because, not because I think it's not worth it or whatever, but I just prefer the feel of leather bags as opposed to like, you know, Louis Vuitton canvas and that sort of thing. But when my, I saw my friend carrying this bag, I just thought it was so adorable and she has it in the black color. I just, I just love it. And Apparently it's really hard to get. I don't see a lot of people wearing Goyard in Australia. And again, it might be just that thing of I don't see it every day. So I'm kind of drawn to it because it's something different. And yeah, it, it just I really like the simple style of it. It looks very usable. Similar to like my Picotin, just like a grab and go little shopping bag. And my friend actually put a little rodeo charm on it as well, which looks so adorable. And it definitely made me feel like I could put my Hermes charm on it. Um, now, to be honest, I know that Goyard is a pretty highly faked brand as well, and another one of my friends actually bought this same bag, but they were overseas and they bought the fake version of this bag for like $30, and it from afar it looks the same. So when I saw my other friend bought a fake version of this bag, it kind of put me off wanting to buy um, one altogether. I'm not tempted to buy the fake one just because... I don't know guys, I'm a bit of a handbag snob and I prefer to just have authentic bags personally, but yeah, anyway, I don't know, I just, yeah, that made me think, well, if it's so easy to fake, why should I buy the real one? Maybe I shouldn't buy it at all, but yeah, I just think it's a really cute bag and Goyard is another brand that I've, I'm yet to explore, so I'm kind of curious by it, don't have a Goyard in Australia, so maybe if I go overseas and I visit a Goyard store, I'm, I might buy something, but you know, I heard this bag is really hard to get, so you have to be lucky to buy it anyway. But let me know, guys, do you have much experience with Goyard and what do you think of the brand as well? The other day I went to the city and I saw a lady wearing this Hermes bag. And yes, we're getting onto Hermes because, well, 
yeah, I just can't help it, guys. I get really tempted to buy a different Hermes bags all the time that I see on other people, and it's the Vic Victoria bag. Um, I've tried this bag on in real life. When I worked at the Purse Affair, I tried on a Victoria bag, but it was so heavy, guys. And I think the reason why I thought it was so heavy is that I think I, I tried on the size 40. But I saw a lady the other day wearing a Victoria bag and it was smaller. I think it could have been the size 35. It looked amazing on her. She had it like up on her shoulder, like under her arm. And hers was in a uh, blue jean. It looked so amazing. Like I was just like, that bag looks so nice. And I have a really big soft spot for Clemence leather. I don't know, anything in Clemence I'm just really drawn to. Like I just love the, the pebbled texture, the squishiness. Uh, I think that's why I got really are uh, drawn to this big bolide bag because of the squishiness and the the luster of the Clemence leather and her Victorine bag Victor Victoria bag um was yeah I'm pretty sure it was a size 35 blue jean it was in this Clemence leather and it just looked amazing on her just like under her shoulder and when I saw it I was like okay I need I need to find one of those bags on the pre-love market because you know I don't know if it's readily available in Hermes anymore and the price from the boutique would be a fortune so I know these bags go for a lot less on the pre-love market and I was influenced to buy it because I saw it on this lady and it's not a bag that I see all the time either so yeah I definitely wouldn't go for the size 40 that is really heavy but the 35 it looked a lot smaller and yeah she was just carrying it as like a casual bag it looked amazing under her arm kind of looked like a mini duffel bag I just loved it like the squish the squishiness of it and you could see even the feet of the bag when she was carrying it under her arm and just the the details on the bottom like the stitching and the leather just looked amazing on it so that's why I love Hermes because the leather just looks incredible when people wear the bag you can just you can just tell it's an Hermes bag just by the, the way the bag is made let me know guys do you have the Victoria bag and what do you think of it do you love it um, because I've seen it pop up for some really good deals so Maybe if I go to Japan, like, you know, at the end of the year or something, I might try hunt it down. But then a part of me is thinking, should I, like, not get distracted and just, like... Or do I even need another bag, guys? Like, to be honest, I do not need another bag. I have, like, over 20 bags. Like, this is beyond ridiculous. But, you know, sometimes I get these thoughts in my head to buy a new bag because... Well, I just bags make me so happy so I just love thinking about these things but yeah there's there's plenty of bags that I see on my phone or in real life on other people that I definitely get influenced to buy and it's particularly if I see something that I hadn't seen before something that's new and shiny I'm drawn to it so anyways let me know guys are there bags on your radar at the moment that you've been influenced to buy and uh yeah thanks for watching my bloody video today i uh, hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys on my next one bye